What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today we're back with another e-bike from Ingwe. We've reviewed one of their bikes before and I loved it. So they sent me another one. This one's a little bit cheaper and it's one of their best selling bikes. Let me introduce you to my Ingwe E26. Now we've reviewed the X26 in the past and that was a phenomenal bike. So they decided to send me another one. They said this is one of their most popular bikes because of the price. It is a very capable bike, just like the last one, but the price I think you guys are really gonna like. This is normally on sale for $12.99.99, but it's currently on sale for $11.99.99. So why don't we start by going over some specifications. Of course, I like to start with the motor. You're looking at a 750 watt, 1000 watt peak high speed brushless motor. And yes, fat tire, it's 26 by four inch. That motor puts out 70 Newton meters of torque. Now moving over to the battery, we have a 48 volt, 16 amp hour lithium ion battery that's capable of getting this bike approximately 87 miles using pedal assist. Top speed on this bike is supposed to be 28 miles an hour. Charging time from empty, about six hours. Of course, we have brakes. We've got a lot of power going to the motor. You need good brakes. We have hydraulic brakes, front and rear, attached to 180 millimeter rotors. We have a dual suspension setup because of the seat. The seat is actually, it's, it's so, there we go. The seat is a shock absorber. And then of course you have your shock absorbers on the front as well. You have your preload adjustment right here and you can lock it out right here if you don't want any suspension travel on the front. We have quality metal fenders, a giant projection headlight. You have a bell. You have a seven speed Shimano shifter. Over here we have tail light, brake light. You have a derailleur guard and there's your gear set in the rear. Of course, everything is adjustable. The seat and these handlebars. Take a look at the handlebars. You can loosen this up and you can rotate it a ton up or down depending on how you like, but that's not all. You come over here and you can actually adjust this entire piece up to bring it closer or down to bring it further away. This is this is really nice, very intuitive. They designed this bike so that you could have it your way. The maximum load for this bike is about 330 pounds and you have a nice metal shelf on the back that handles 25 kilograms, okay? You have these wonderful, wonderful hand rests right here. I love these, the way they come out like this instead of just being straight across, it really gives you a nice place to plant your palms. You have your pedal assist up, pedal assist down. You have your headlight button on the side. You have a button right here that switches through all the different information screens. Headlight off, you have a nice color display right here. I don't know how well that's gonna come out it's dark today, but there you go. It's got a really nice multicolor display. And like I said, when you turn on the headlights, it dims the display. You get a super bright projection headlight there. And of course in the back, that is a really bright light and brake light as well. Reflectors in the wheels, overall a solid looking bike. So it's time to take it out and go for a little ride. Now, full disclosure, I just got through riding this 3.9 miles. I had a camera malfunction, which caused me to have to restart this video from the very beginning. So I've actually already ridden most of what I would normally ride, but we're gonna do it again. So that means when we're done, we're gonna have a lot more miles than we normally would. Let's take it for a rip. Full steam ahead on uh, throttle alone, no pedal assist on this. And we are starting going up a hill. My obstacle course is temporarily closed because my obstacle course is actually a construction zone. And there's, there's actually construction people out there right now. They are out there all day, every day, day and night. They're building all these houses. So uh, yeah, my construction course is temporarily closed, but that's okay. We still have lots of hills, gravel, and of course the pavement. 
I'll take you by the obstacle course so you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, wait, are they gone? Oh, hold on. If they're gone, we're going, we're going off-road. No, they're not. Dang it. <laughs> they got a semi-truck down there. Yeah, okay, we better not. We better not go down there. Looks like they're dropping off uh, pallets of wood. All right, so let's, let's get her up to speed. Pedal assist five. I've got the throttle pegged. And I'm going to slow down because we're already doing 24 miles an hour on gravel. Rides great. And the brakes, I love Ingway's hydraulic brakes. They know what they're doing, man. The brakes are so nice. Very smooth. You just give them a light squeeze and it slows you down quickly. I'm sure if we give it a hard squeeze, it will slow us down uh, a lot quicker. So we're going to get over this loose gravel right here. Let's give it a little bit of a harder squeeze and see how those brakes do. Oh yes, very nice. Uh-oh. What is this? Sorry about that. <laughs> JR warned us all about that on one of his posts the other day. All right, so the front suspension feels great. The seat suspension is working exactly the way it's supposed to. It's absorbing a lot of these bumps out here on this gravel. This is all relatively loose gravel, and the bike is handling it absolutely well. So far, I'm only using throttle. I'm not pedaling. I'll do some pedaling later, but I really like using the throttle because number one, I'm lazy. And number two, it really puts the battery through its paces. Let's go up this way. So you can see I'm not messing with you. My obstacle course really is closed because we do have these uh, we do have these guys out here unloading lumber. So uh, I don't want to get in trouble or anything. So we'll just uh, we'll just continue on our way. How about that? So far, so good. Great bike, very solid, very sturdy, very stable, even on all of this loose gravel. I'm sure you can hear in my voice how shaky it is. Uh, this is a very bumpy terrain, and I, uh, I definitely have the tires inflated a little bit higher than I normally would for a ride like this. Mainly because once you get out on the uh, pavement, you don't want underinflated tires because underinflated tires on the pavement make the bike really kind of wonky. It, uh, it doesn't steer right and you got to find the best air pressure, kind of middle ground for everything that you're going to be doing. Or you could also buy an accessory air pump and bring it with you and then you could adjust your air pressure on the fly. And that's, that's what I would recommend. Get you an air pump that you can bring along with you and adjust your air pressure on the fly. Let's give the rip. Throttle alone, no pedaling. 15, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's all we got, 24 miles an hour, 24.1. Now let's see what happens when I pedal. Here we go, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Can we do 29? Yeah! Let's hit 30. Come on, get it! 30! Yes! We hit 31! 31 and a half pedaling, and that's all she's got. That's every bit of it. <laughs> Not bad at all, Ingwe. Not bad. <laughs> that's nice. 31 miles an hour. That may be the fastest one yet. All right, we're gonna go up this hill and throttle alone. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 18. And now the speed's going back up again. That's very respectable, very respectable. I'm 5'11 and a half, 210 pounds. So I feel like I'm a pretty average size guy. Not too big, not too skinny. Should give you a pretty good idea of what this bike is capable of. It's impressive, very impressive. Well, it's time to take it through the neighborhood now. And uh, let's see how it does rolling around the neighborhood. And here we go in the neighborhood. 
22, 23, 24, 20, 24. <laughs> That's just all you're gonna get out of it with rod alone. You wanna get more? Well, you're gonna have to get into it and start pedaling a little bit. There we go, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. <laughs> what a blast. No kidding, I can see why this is one of their top selling bikes. Absolutely. This this thing gets it. Let's go around this corner. 18 miles an hour. Maintain 17.9 through that corner. Obviously it's a sharp curve. Gravel and bumps, not a problem. I'm pedaling now, just for fun. Very nice. Lots of wind today. I apologize in advance if there's any wind noise. But when you take wind and then you're riding 25, 30 miles an hour through it, uh, you're going to get a lot of noise. This is great. It's a great day for a bike ride, and this is a great bike for a ride today. I don't think I could have picked a better one. All right. So far, so good. You can hear that motor kicking away. We're gonna turn this bad boy around and head back to the gravel. And we're back. Back to the gravel. So the bike has performed absolutely great. No complaints at all. We definitely hit our target mileage and then some. <laughs> Normally, if I tried to do five miles, we are almost to eight miles right now. So, very accurate odometer. Whether you're pedaling or using throttle alone, it's just a great bike. Very enjoyable, very comfortable, sturdy, solid, well built. Good job, Ingwe. Just like the last one, you did it again. Another phenomenal e-bike. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Ingwe E26. It's a lot dirtier than when we first started. It's gravel, you can't keep anything clean out here. I love this color, it's a really dark gray. It almost looks, it's a matte gray is what it is. Yeah, I didn't even realize that until the sun started coming out, but that's a really nice matte gray with uh, black fenders and a black uh, cargo rack. This, this is a nice bike. I'm very happy with it. My question is, what's the battery look like after putting on eight miles? That's right, we did eight miles on the dot this time. The battery has five bars and we have used one. So 20% of the battery has been used to go eight miles. Now, could we have made it to 10 miles? I'm absolutely certain we could have made it easily to 10 miles without taking any more of the battery. Remember, this thing's supposed to have a range of over 80 miles if you use pedal assist, and that's probably pedal assist one. So keep that in mind. Yes, you could go a long way if you're in pedal assist one and you're pedaling a lot, but if you're gonna be letting the motor do the majority of the work, well, you can easily see there should be no problem at all getting a cool 50 miles out of this bike just on throttle or just doing occasional pedaling on pedal assist five. I, I can guarantee you'll easily get 40 to 50 miles of range if you're being a little lazy like me. I wanna give a big shout out and thank you to Ingwe for sending me the E26. Go check it out in the link below this video. This is a ridiculously cheap bike, guys. The price is phenomenal for this much quality, this much bike for the money. I think you'll really enjoy it. Stay safe out there, everybody. I'll see you all very soon in the next one.